What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking. I'm truly, truly grateful to all those who have been coming back to watch my videos. Thank you so much. And if you're new to this channel, this is your first time seeing this channel. Do me a favor by clicking the subscribe button so we can grow this motorcycle vlogging journey together. So in today's video guys, I'm going to adjust the rear suspension on my motorcycle and that is the 2019 version of the Honda CB500X. To start off, let me give you a bit of background on why I'm doing this adjustment. So when this bike, as you may already know, comes with a rear tire of 160, 60, room 17. Now, a couple of months ago, I changed the original tires that came with the bike to Michelin Anarchy Adventure tires, and I'm so pleased with them. I have videos on the installation of those tires. So I'll put a link up there. If you haven't seen that video, you can go and watch it after watching this one. Now, at the time when I replaced the tires, Michelin didn't have 160, 60 rim 17 tires for the Michelin Anarchy Adventure. Um, and just after I installed these ones, they released the proper tire size for the 2019 Honda CB500X. So at the time of installation, I had no option but to go for the 150, 70 rim 17 tire which fits perfectly on this bike and I've been riding it for over two months now and I haven't had any problems. If anything, it feels really, really good. Now, before I fitted these tires, I also installed rear racks and a top box for my motorcycle. And that put a lot more weight on the rear part of the motorcycle. And so what I did to balance out the weight between the front and the back was to adjust the rear suspension to the hardest setting so it could compensate for the weight on the back. And anytime you adjust the suspension to the highest setting, what is going to happen is you're gonna have a more stiffer suspension. So after installing the Michelin Anarchy Adventure tire, which has a 70 instead of a 60 height of the rear tire, I didn't go back to reduce the hardness of the suspension. And that has resulted in a very high ride which is not a really big deal for me because I'm about 182 centimeters tall. But what it means is the bike has become a little bit bouncy on the road, especially when I'm riding on uneven surfaces. So today I've decided to do a quick adjustment. I'm just going to adjust it one unit softer just to see how the bike rides after that. So let's go and take a look at the adjustment process. So I've just taken off the seat and uh, taking the tools out, the toolbox that came with the bike. And I've also put the bike on the center stand, which I installed uh, a couple of weeks ago. I'll put a link to the video up there for anyone who wants to watch the installation video of the center stand. And I'm just gonna take out the tools that are meant for adjusting the rear suspension. And these are the tools that are meant for that purpose. So you have this C-shaped spanner with its extender right here and it goes in like so so when you look here you will see the teeth that this c-spanner is supposed to grab onto in order for you to be able to turn to make the adjustment so i'm just going to do that now like i said it's just going to be one setting uh softer just to see how the bike handles after that i'm guessing it should be easier to do with the bike on the center stand because what it means is you have taken a lot of weight off the suspension and it should move a bit more freely so i'm going to adjust clockwise and that clockwise is loosening or softening up the suspension it didn't quite sit it's moved but it didn't quite sit so i'm going to Grab it again at another point. And just go a bit further. It's almost there. All right. And just like that. I know you can't see it, but I've adjusted it by one point softer and i'll see how it feels when i ride on the road so as simple as that it's a lot easier if you do it with a bike on the center stand because if the bike is on the side stand then there's still a considerable amount of weight 
on the rear side of the bike but if the rear tire is hanging then the suspension is not engaged as much and so it will be easier to twist it so guys that's the end of this video i hope i was able to give out some knowledge here and i've just adjusted my the rear suspension of my honda cb 500x to a slightly softer position and i'm just going to ride it of course the um the proof of the benefit of the adjustment is going to be in the riding so i'm going to ride it for a few miles and see how the adjustment has changed the handling of the bike so once again thank you so much for watching and i hope you learned something today like i said in the beginning if this is your first time and you haven't subscribed to this channel do me a favor click the red subscribe button down there give the video a like and click the notification bell so whenever i upload new videos you'll be one of the first to be notified guys thank you so much for watching until i see you in the next video ride legal ride safe always peace